you give a lot of credit to North Dakota State. Um, I knew from watching them on film and uh, that they were going to be very tough. And they've had two hard road games that prepared them for this. We played really hard. We defended. Uh, we just really struggled to score the basketball. And um, give them a lot of credit. They, they make you guard for 30 seconds. Uh, and if you do get the stop, you got to go down and run good offense. And we really struggled with that early. I thought the second half we were better. Um, I think we left about six or seven points right at the rim uh, late that we got to score, but give them a lot of credit. Thought our guys really got down and tried garden. Um, they just beat us. Coach, your team won the team from three-point range, and a lot of those look to be pretty good looks too. Well, they pack it in. Um, I think we were one of 11 the first half, though, and I was disappointed with our shot selection the first half. You can't come down against when, when, when a team makes you guard like that uh, for that long. And we really started out guarding. They couldn't score either. You have to come down and probe a little bit. And we just we took the first available one. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't play uh, the way we needed to play on the offensive end. I thought the second half, we, the, the, it was a two-point game at halftime. I thought we really came out and started doing some good things. We just missed a lot of shots. I mean, Jared Rhodes missed some really good ones. Uh, late in the game, we, we we had him on the post out of the side. Ob, it's a shot he always makes. Reggie had a fake handoff; he missed a layup, and then. Uh, but we, we we missed some good shots the second half. Um, but give them a lot of credit. You had, you've said multiple times throughout the preseason that other guys need to step up. Aside from Alize, he scores twenty three. Yeah. Another guy that's more than ten. Do you feel like you guys were going too much through him? or No, I mean, we had to. I mean, give him a lot of credit. He was unbelievable. Um, no, but but yet uh, there's no doubt. I mean, when you only have one assist uh, and, and guys weren't guys weren't playing selfishly. Uh, they, they, they really played hard defensively, but we did in terms of our guys. But like on the other end, you got to probe a little bit like we, we got the ball inside a lot. And, and we came up empty. Um, Jared Rhodes had some good luck, some really good threes after we ran good offense. He missed them. Um, we got to get JD going. I thought JD was uh, JD. Uh, Jared Dixon was was better uh, this game. Um, it's probably a game that I got to get him in there more. Um, I went with some guys that have been in it because it was such a defensive battle. Um, you couldn't afford to make many mistakes on the defensive end because there weren't many baskets being scored either way. Is that maybe why J.T. Miller saw less yeah. today? Yeah, it probably is. And uh, he's going to be good for us. But that, that, that he, you know, he's coming from a program that has played a lot of zone. And uh, we played man-to-man. -man, and there were some breakdowns the first half. But J.T. is going to be fine. Everybody's got to stick together. Um, like I told our guys, that was like a Valley game uh, this early in the season. I knew it would be. Um, we'll get another crack at them. It doesn't get any easier for us. Uh, we're going to play another really good team. But uh, I think I think um, North Dakota State's two opportunities that they had on the road prepared them to be in this position because they were right there with USC. Uh, they've got a good team. We've got a good team. We're going to get better. You talk about how you knew how tough they were. Do you think your players bought into that? I think so. Okay. I don't think there's any doubt that they bought into it because you wouldn't have gone out there and guarded like we guarded. I, 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 we knew how difficult they are to guard and how long of possessions they have and how they move the basketball. We did a lot of good things. Uh, we did a lot of good things against them defensively. Um, um, so I, 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 don't, I don't think it was, was that. I think our guys understood. We just were, we were really poor offensively, but give them a lot of credit um, with what they were doing. Coming down with 14 offensive rebounds, only giving up seven, kind of different from Wednesday's game. Obviously, good to see. Yeah, we did. Like I said, we defended and rebounded. We just when you when you shoot 32 percent from the field and five from three, and then we and and we let we we miss some close shots and shots in close late in the game that hurt us. They shoot 39 uh, from the field and 30 from three, and they win. Um, give them a lot of credit. It was a possession game. And um, each possession mattered. Um, but we rebounded. We defended okay. Uh, 
um, we just we couldn't score the ball. And the pace of the game seemed much more half court than full court. Like yeah, and give them a lot of credit. More of them, you know, exactly. it was sure that's how they, they when you have long, but that's how they play. And I think that that's what I tried emphasizing with our guys. We're going to be able we guarded them. You guard for that long, you got to go down and have good possessions. And then what happens, we didn't have very good possessions. I thought we took some quick ones that we shouldn't have. Well, then what happens is you start pressing a little bit, and then those empty possessions really matter. But I thought we regrouped. We got it to two at halftime, and I thought the second half we came out and did some really good things. We just couldn't sustain it, and then it got back to us missing shots again. What was the conversation like at halftime? It's really good. I mean, I think our guys understood, like, man, this is hard. These guys these guys are doing a good job defensively. I said, hey, we're, we'll, we'll be better offensively, and I, we were better offensively. We scored 32 points the second half, um, but yet we weren't good enough. Do um, you think a loss like this can be good for those guys? So have been told how good they are all offseason? Oh, no, because we, we, we were ready to play. I mean, no, you don't want to lose, but... Um, it's it's uh, we want to win them all, and you gotta you 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 can't when you're we told them yesterday you can't everybody's telling you how great you are you can't get too high and if you lose you can't get that low I mean we're disappointed I'm not disappointed with our effort we played hard uh, we got loose balls we rebounded uh, it, it just we got beat and we got to get better from it um, and and we will get better from it but you don't want to lose but. Um, you know, they just lost two games in a row. Their season's not over. <laughs> it's the third game of the year, and we want to win them all. But uh, um, they didn't quit playing after losing two games, and they got blown out at Santa Barbara. So you got to keep playing. You got to keep getting better. We don't want to lose, but we'll we'll make improvements. How did, you, how did the guys avoid the frustration of not hitting shots and not being able to run the floor the way they probably want? Well, yeah. Well, I think they did a pretty good job of it for the most part because we kept rebounding, we kept defending. Uh, but I, 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 that's frustrating at the end when we get it inside a couple times and we're right where it needs to be and we can't finish. We got to get Reggie finishing. Reggie does good things. He really helped us, but he's so he's powerful. But he's got to he's got to finish through contact on some of that stuff. But um, I think they were frustrated. I'm sure Jared Rhodes is frustrated. He's been outstanding, but he had a bad one. But he still got seven rebounds. He kept guarding. Um, we did a nice job, guys, of not following them. Uh, when you got to guard for 25, 26 seconds every possession, um, it, it it can wear on you. But I, I I thought we were okay. I mean, I'm sure they're frustrated. They didn't make shots, but they didn't hang their head and they keep playing. And we we had chances. We just didn't capitalize. And then what, what are the lessons from these first three games, and what do you look forward to about this Florida trip? Well, I mean, you, you look at everything. We watched film the other day on our game from Wednesday. I don't, you know, uh, we'll learn from this. Our guys are they're disappointed, as I'm sure everyone's disappointed. But uh, uh, it's my job to keep their minds right. Um, I told them we're not perfect. They're not perfect. Um, we got to get better. We've got a good team. And we can grow. I told you guys we'll be better. We weren't the we weren't the Golden State Warriors a week ago. I told you we're going to be better a month from now. Um, I wanted that. We, we need guys that have been in the program to play better. Okay, we need we, we need that to happen, and they're trying. Um, but uh, you just gotta you gotta learn, and you gotta move forward, and uh, no one's gonna feel sorry for you. Getting out there and playing a lot of games in one week's time is that is that something that's good for this team right now? Yeah, my, it, we need to play. Everybody needs to play. Uh, you need to learn. I mean, uh, you need to you need to you need to play games. We've had enough practices. Um, we're playing a team in Georgia Southern that I have not watched, uh, but they're averaging a ton of points. They've got a ton of experience, way more playing experience than us in terms of four year guys, and uh, they got two first team all league guys in the backcourt. So it'll be a totally different type of game, but. We got to keep making improvements. Uh, we got to keep rebounding. Um, we got to we got to keep defending. That's that's my message. We we, we held those guys to uh, 57 points and, and 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 did some good things defensively. The offense will come, but can you win a game when you're not scoring? Um, like I said, I thought we made improvements the second half. I thought the first half we were just really out of sorts offensively. There was. Uh 
some frustration with the amount of rebounds in the last game. Seems like they fixed that um, for this game, but the shots just weren't falling. So what's the conversation after this game? Just, you know, keep doing what we're doing. It's not it's not like we're going to make drastic changes. Um, uh, we got to keep doing what we're doing. These guys are good guys. They're coachable. Uh, this definitely hurts, but uh, I thought we had a great crowd. The student section's been phenomenal. Um, it, it, it was a it was a long, uh, slow possessions, uh, but it had, both teams, man, I'm telling you, both teams played at a high level. Both teams played at a high level on the defensive end uh, and competing. Um, they just made a couple more baskets than us. What opportunities do you, do you see? What opportunities do you see for a team like yours to get this Thanksgiving tournament experience? And oh, I think it's great. We get three games in three days, and uh, it's going to be good competition. And uh, we're going to continue to find out about ourselves. Getting Zay back, like playing him that many minutes, he's. Uh, um, I'm sure he'll be sore and a little bit tired tomorrow, and we got to travel. But as I said, we we haven't had him all preseason. Um, there, there was not great rhythm out there offensively. Now, we force-fed them the second half, and I'm talking about as a team, though, the first half. We got to – these games will be good for us.